This is Eyewitness News at 5, and we are streaming live on CBSN Philly. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartalia. First at 5, a six-year-old caught in the crossfire after a triple shooting left his father dead and another man critically injured in southwest Philadelphia. Matt Petrillo is outside a children's hospital of Philadelphia where that little boy is being treated tonight. Matt? Jess, Philadelphia police telling us that six-year-old boy is fighting for his life as officers search for the shooter. We know at least 12 shots were fired. Police rushed to 53rd Street near Baltimore Avenue in southwest Philadelphia around 7.15 Wednesday night after a barrage of bullets struck this white car with three people inside. Police actually came upon the shooting victim while on patrol before the 911 calls even began to come in. Officers tell us a six-year-old boy was riding in the car with two men, including the boy's father, who was in the driver's seat. Police say he tried to drive drive away, but was shot in the chest, crashed the car, and later was pronounced dead. He's been identified as 28-year-old Joshua Butts. His son, the six-year-old, is now in critical condition after undergoing surgery. The third victim is also now recovering. It sickens all of us, and we're tired of seeing this, quite frankly. Nearly 550 people have been shot in Philly so far this year, according to police. At the same time, the city has also recorded 145 homicides. 2021 is on track to be the worst year on record. The mayor, Jim Kenney, saying in his budget proposal to city council Thursday, he'd like to almost double funding for anti-violence programs next fiscal year to $35.5 million. Solutions must expand to match the scale of the problem. Kenny's proposed budget also keeps funding for the city's police department at $727 million, the same as last year. It's not negative. So we need to, you know, whether that flat line stays like that or not, we'll see. They have a lot of movement to go until June. And the city's police union president there referring to the start of budget talks with city council. It has until June 30th to pass a balanced budget. Live in University City, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Matt, thank you.